so we are going to start by cutting out our insole this is Nora 3 millimeters for the insole and this is Nora 4 millimeters for the main sole so and this is the already made sole we are going to use to cut out the shape of our sole and our insole so after marking it out you cut the insole into shape and this is the main sole you have to leave a space allowance then you cut here into shape so that you can be able to fix the heel so this is going to go like this on the main sole and later we are going to cut off the excess so now this is our heel you can see it it is um crap and this is the raw file i'm going to use to give it the shape i want it to have here you see it so i'm going, I'm going to cut the c shape i want it to have a c shape at this edge so you can leave it straight if you prefer leaving it straight but i want it to have C shape here you can see so I'm going to smooth the surface here before I fix it to the main so you can see that so So for this you just cut the length of um, seven and a half inch and then you give this place a triangle curve a triangle curve and that is that so this is um the inner strap the length can be 12 inch but the width is 0 0.7 inch and this one the width is um 1.4 inch and the length is 12 inch so after cutting them into shape that is when you must have attached your lining you dye the edges so you use um, a stove light or a lighter like this to make sure that there is no um, wool on the edges so after smoothing the edge of the heel uh, you place it on the main sole and then mark out where it is supposed to be positioned and after that you use your sandpaper to sand the surface for proper bonding So you fold the main stripe into two equal parts, locate the center, you can see the center here, and then you place this one this way at the center there, mark on the both sides, that's the width, you see it, and then you punch on the dots, you can see the punch, and then use your knife to create the line that's the hole where it has to pass through that is very simple so it is going to pass this way on this one and um, we're going to use our pin to pin it at this point here so make sure it is straight I'm going to punch I'm going to punch this place then use this pin to hold it at this point so now let's uh, locate the strap positions you measure three and a half inch from the back of your insole this way three and a half inch you see where i have marked then place the main strap this way and then you mark here mark here mark here and then here make sure it is straight then after that place your last 
on the insole then you're going to mark this place this place then after marking that place um, you're going to measure from that measurement 1.4 inch towards the center of the insole that is here 1.4 inch 1.4 inch and then find the width of the strap that is supposed to be here divide it into two that is here then take the line to the other side that is this one that is where the center strap for the two will be and then for this place place this one here mark here then extend it again and mark here that is where the second strap has to pass through from here down to this place so right now we're going to punch the holes for the straps so you can see i have punched the holes so after punching for the other side place it this way and then mark out the holes the dots and then punch the other side of the insole so right now let's cut out the lines for the straps so we are done with the strap holes the next thing is to couple the pattern and then last it So we are done with the last thing. You can see that we are done with the last thing. So um, you can see this is Marco here, and then this is Marco. This is Marco. It is just there to aid the bonding so that it will have a long lasting bonding. So just fix the macro in a few places and after that we couple the whole footwear So after coupling, make sure you hammer it properly with your mallet. So we're going to remove the excess after this. Then we'll file the edges, thus smoothing the edges of the shoe. So we are done with this tutorial. We didn't use uh, Marco completely in this uh, project because we want to have a very shiny edges. So um, thank you for watching. Don't forget to subscribe if you have not and also hit the bell icon to get updates as soon as our next video drops because we have a lot of videos lined up.
so thank you have a nice day and i'll see you in our next video